So today I thought it would be fun to check out some American food scams, some cover-ups, some hacks, some things that they hide from you. But some of you know about them because you're educated people, but we're just gonna look at them today. This video is so chock full of information. Chalk, chocolate, chalk. It's packed full of info. Before I get into it, do be sure to subscribe. Otherwise, the next time you go to eat food, it's not gonna taste like anything. Wouldn't that be awful? And it won't be because of the thing that we're not allowed to say on YouTube that begins with a, a C O B. It's just gonna be because you can't taste stuff, and that would be hell. Today's video is sponsored by Raid, which is one of the few companies I have consistently accepted sponsorship from. Raid has challenged me to react to my very first integration with them, which was Irish Girl Tries Weird Sexy Halloween Costumes, which had very, very few views, so thanks for sticking with me, Raid. <laughs> okay, this is when I thought the ring light had to be right on top of me, so I have demon eyes. Um, yeah, I like to justify my brutality. There's oh, that hasn't changed. The game itself is always changing and evolving, which is a huge part of why I like it. Right now, Raid has their biggest ever update out. The main event here is the Doom Tower. It's a giant tower with 120 floors, a bunch of secret challenge rooms, and 12 seriously badass bosses to take on. I've been waiting for this for a long time, and I can't wait to dive in. If you want to get a huge head start in Raid, all you have to do is hit the link in the description. And your free void champion, Bulwark, an XP booster, 50 gems, some energy refills, and even an ancient shard will come to you as soon as you get in game. You will find your extra words here in your inbox for the next 30 days. It has been a journey with you guys. Thank you for sticking with me and supporting the channel. It's always just a thing that I have to hand when I'm just, uh, when I'm kind of bored, I just play on right. And on with the video. Okay, the first thing that's a bit of a scam in America is that your fast food is really cheap and your good quality, wholesome food is quite expensive. Not expensive, but more expensive than the cheap fast food. And here's the reason why. The American government incentivizes the overproduction of corns and starches and syrups, which are what go into making sugary overprocessed food. On the flip side, the European government subsidize fresh food like fruit and vegetables. So it's basically really, really cheap. I'm forever buying apples and bananas and then throwing them out. I'm under the illusion that I'm eating healthy, but I'm not really. But at least it's there, you know? I have such a poor diet and I eat like an American. She really does. It's so cheap to just go and buy a meal at a fast food restaurant. And that's why a lot of people do it as opposed to getting fresh ingredients, buying your own chicken, buying your own ingredients and just like putting them together. You can tell I don't cook. You know what I mean. You cook your meal. That leads me to my next point, which is related to fast food. It's the super size me ideology. And I'm not just referring to McDonald's. I'm talking about all combo meals in general. The name of the game by each fast food company is to upsell because if you upsell, the customer is paying a little bit more and you're getting more profit. Have you heard the phrase, do you want fries with that? Yeah. That's profit margin right there. Do you want just chicken nuggets or do you want chicken nuggets, fries and a Diet Coke for just 50 cent more? You're gonna go for the thing that's just 50 cent more because you get so much more stuff, correct? They don't care if it clogs your arteries and stuff. Mm, I want chicken nuggets. And another thing that's scammy about this whole thing is actually the combo doesn't save you that much as opposed to if you just got all the individual items. It probably saves you about 50 cent. Next up, and this one is kind of scary, a lot of your food in America is deemed not fit for human consumption in Europe. That's a little freaky, right? Research into this one was really interesting, okay? I'm gonna make McDonald's my point of reference, but it's actually in lots of foods in America, foods that are sold in your supermarket, foods that are in just regular everyday mom pop restaurants is that a thing I just use McDonald's as a pinnacle of comparison because I'm basically a McDonald's expert like I really am I know everything about McDonald's I love McDonald's it's very bad for me but I, I love it but I have always wondered why when I go to America McDonald's is pretty gross in Ireland and the rest of Europe, McDonald's is actually delicious. It's quite fresh. The chips are real potatoes. The chicken is real chicken breast. It's yum, yum, yummy. But in America, they kind of give you some BS right there. And this is all to do with food regulation. In fact, some of the things that are in those products are just, oh my God, let me tell you about them. Okay, I'm gonna have to read this. There's a product called azodicarbonamide. Azodicarbonamide, azodicamide. Is that a carbamide? Is that a... It's up on the screen. Also called ADA, also known as the yoga mat ingredient. That's because its primary use is in 
things that are kind of stretchy like yoga mats and plastic stuff. What does be kind of stretchy? Flip flops, flop flips. Here's the fun part. AUDA is known to cause a lot of things like asthma, allergic reactions, cancer, and a lot of skin problems, which definitely should not be the top of my list, but you know, it's a factor. I'm shallow. I'm a very shallow person. Cancer would be worse. Another thing that is used in pretty much all food in America is a product called potassium bromate. It's an additive which is used in flour. It strengthens the dough and allows it to rise higher. Ergo, more product for cheaper. What does be what we've referred to earlier as profit margin. In 1999, the International Research Agency on Cancer declared this thing as a huge factor in things that give you cancer. It's known as a human carcinogen. You should not be putting it in your body voluntarily. Now you could argue you'd have to eat a lot of it for it to be in any way effective, which uh oh Americans, you do every day. It's in like everything. You're eating it all the time. Yeah, she eats all that shiz too. She just happens to live in Europe. Scary. Okay, this next one personally offends me. I'm, that might be a strong term, but it hurts my heart. Milk chocolate in America doesn't even have to have actual milk in it. It's barely chocolate at all. Okay, before I get into this one, I just want everybody to feel better about themselves because I didn't know some of this information and it makes me feel better when I look at people who are dumber than me. So did you know that like 7% of Americans believe that chocolate milk comes from brown cows? Yeah, they're dumb, but not us. We just didn't know some of this information before. This is new information to us. So we're informed. Okay, so in the EU, chocolate has to contain 30% cocoa, whereas in America, chocolate only has to contain 10% cocoa. Now on the flip side, some of the really good companies like Hershey's actually use more than 30% in their products voluntarily, but a lot of them don't. So what is in it then? Also in Europe, you might see an example, a Cadbury's ad where the milk pours into the chocolate and it mixes and it's all yum, yum, yummy. Not so in America, because in America, the milk goes through a process called lipolysis. It makes it kind of like powdered milk and it makes it have a tiny bit of a sour taste. I can definitely feel that when I eat American chocolate. It's a little bit sour. It also contains something called butric acid, which is a compound found in Parmesan cheese and is similar to baby spittle. Gross. It gives the chocolate a tiny taste. Moving on. A lot of times in America, you'll see something on the menu marked as grilled. Oh great, it's grilled. And sure, if you're going to a Texas barbecue, it might actually be grilled, but not so in a lot of cases. See in America, they don't even have to say grilled style. They can just say grilled, but guess what? It's not grilled at all. They just painted the grill marks on and put it in an oven. That would be an interesting job if it was just your job to like put the, the grill marks on the meat. That's wild, isn't it? Just wild. On that related note, in advertising, a lot of the things that you see in ads going, mm, that looks like a delicious burger, are not the foods at all. And actually this is the case in Europe too, so we definitely can't hold this against you, America, because we do it here too. Somebody's job is to get things that are similar to the food, but look better. There are actually things called food artists, and they like paint on the food or on things that look like the food to make things look nicer. See that dripping cheese coming out of that burger bun? It's not cheese at all, it's actually oil paint. I have done some commercials where the food was replaced with not food to make it look better and also to make it not go off on set and stink up the set. But in case you're wondering why when you go to the place and the food doesn't look as good as the food in the ad, that's why. It's not even food at all, it's a whole other thing. Next up, America, and this is all you, you guys have hormones in your food. See, hormones make the calves grow bigger, faster. Uh, it's akin to putting steroids in a person. More weight means more meat, which means more profit. Hormones also increase the production of dairy by cows. I'm gonna tell you something gross now, but it's also, it shouldn't be gross because I'm a human being and human beings are what we all are, I hope. When I go to America, I have actually noticed that my eyebrows and my leg hair, I know guys, I'm so sorry, I actually grow leg hair. I'm gonna be sick, I'm gonna be sick. Grows way faster when I'm over there. And I finally concluded this is because of all the hormones in the food. 
That is crazy. Hormones have other effects on your body as well, such as causing early menstruation in young women. In fact, statistically, the onset of puberty in young Americans is much earlier than in Europe. You gotta wonder, is that something to do with the hormones? I've overshared, moving on. The illusion of the healthy menu. A lot of places you go, you might notice that they have a healthy menu featuring salads. Now, I've talked before on this channel how I have a bugbear about salads in America, how you just call them salad and then they're a salad. Just because you put a few leaves on it, Brad, doesn't make it salad. I'm gonna go back to my old reliable, but it is not exclusively McDonald's. In fact, Italian restaurants are notorious for high calorie, healthy menus. There's a lot of dressing. That's because the Italians love dressing. They love flavor. I love flavor. And that is why I love American food and also Italian food, apparently. But at McDonald's, you'll find the Big Mac is 540 calories. Oh no, I'm on a diet, says Brenda. She goes in, she orders herself a Southwest Buttermilk Crispy Chicken Salad. 520 calories. She's only saved herself 20 calories. She could have just run around her massive American house a few times and got the Big Mac. Next up, Kobe beef. It's not actually beef. You've probably never even had Kobe beef in your life. What you've eaten is probably American style Kobe beef. And there's a good reason for this. The US banned importation of all Japanese beefs along with other Japanese imports in 2001 when mad cow disease came around and they never really got around to getting rid of that ban. But people still wanted Kobe beef. So you guys found a way to make Kobe style beef. To this day, only eight restaurants in America have special licenses to serve actual Kobe beef but it doesn't stop other restaurants from charging through the nose for Kobe style beef, but they won't put the style listed on the menu. That's just a lie, isn't it? That hurts my feelings on your behalf. And finally, the number one American food scam. Actually, I think it's something that you guys are pretty aware of. It's the amount of sugar and salt added to all of your food. Now, on the flip side, you could say it's for flavor, and sure, I get that in a lot of cases, but actually the food manufacturers put it in food because it makes it last longer on your shelves and give you diabetes. They don't want to give you diabetes, that's just an afterthought because of their profit margin. Okay, I am the super lover of sugar. I love sugar in everything. I just love things that are bad for me, it's my jam but I have definitely noticed sugar in things that I would not expect there to be so much sugar in in America. Like bread, there is so much sugar in bread. Donuts have so much more sugar in them than they have here as well. Also, a lot of salt is added to things that I would later add salt to and then it's just too salty. In Ireland, you definitely get a shorter shelf life, but it doesn't have as much salt and sugar, which is really bad for you. I've actually heard this thing once that if you've never had salt in your whole life, that you will not crave salt because, actually it's not that smart now that I think about it, that would be the case with anything. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I feel it was a cerebral experience and I learned a lot. I hope you did too. That's it for today, bye. Hi, Chewie. You're so cute. Okay, stay there though. It strengthens, it strengthens, it strengthens, why can I say strengthens? Hello little monster, cause of the light you look like an angel. Somebody in the comments said that this room kind of looks like a green screen. And I do see it. I am a figment of your imagination. I'm not a real person at all.